Hi, I'm Carol Ann from Meredy Winters School of Music, and I'm here today to talk to you about tuning your violin. Um, so here's my beautiful violin here, and I wanted to start by telling you how tuning a violin is different than, say, tuning a guitar or ukulele. So on the violin, we have two sets of tuners. This is what's going to make it a lot different than our guitars and ukuleles. I know some um, parents out there might know how to tune a guitar, but maybe not necessarily know how to tune a violin. Um, we have large um, tuning pegs at the top, and these are going to be used mainly for emergency situations where our note is so out of tune that we're not close enough to our desired pitch um, to be able to do it with our fine tuners. Speaking of, down here is what we're going to be using today, our fine tuners. Um, each tuner is attached to a string. Here's one attached to the E string. Here's the A string fine tuner, here is the D string fine tuner, and here's our G string fine tuner. And I'm going to be talking to you about clockwise and counterclockwise turns. So here on our A fine tuner, I've gone ahead and turned the peg counterclockwise so that um, my violin is now out of tune so that I can then show you how to tune it in a minute. Um, speaking of tuners and tuning, we are going to be looking at a specific app today to tune on a free app, but there are other options available to you. There's these old school um, pocket tuners that listen in, but also have a direct input for a guitar. Um, and there are also my preferred option of tuning, which is a clip-on tuner that clips right onto the bridge of your instrument or the head of your instrument and listens for the pitch that way. Um, that being said, we don't necessarily want to always be ordering things, especially in today's age. Um, so I'm going to be showing you a tuner app today called Tuner Lite. So when you buy from the App Store or the Google Play Store, it's available in both. Um, the app will look like this, and the light version is the free version. Um, so once we're in this, I do enjoy that it has a big interface. We can see it very clearly. It is the free version, so I do have some ads at the bottom of my screen. Um, but I'm more concerned with some of these controls right here. So you have a couple options. For an advanced tuner, you can hear A440. Um, which won't serve us very well if we're just learning how to tune right now, but we're gonna be more concerned with this tuning fork symbol over here. So when you press that, um, the app's going to now start listening to you and hear the pitch that you're playing on your instrument. So I'm gonna just kinda set up over here so that you can hear me play and see the app at the same time. And I'm going to start by playing my open A. So remember, I took that open A and turned my tune, fine tuning gear counterclockwise so that my, tune, my uh, A string would be below pitch. Now, as you can see, we get a lot of information right now. We get the A at the top of the screen, um, but we were also seeing a needle that needle needs to be exactly centered um, in order for your pitch to be correct. When I play my open A, my needle is off to the left of center. That means that my pitch is flat. So if I'm on the left side, I'm flat, which means that I need to turn clockwise. So I'm going to, while I'm playing this pitch for you, turn my A tuning peg clockwise so that that needle becomes centered and my A becomes in tune. Oh, I've gone too far. So now my A is sharp. I'm going to need to tune Turn in the opposite direction, or counterclockwise, so that it's centered. So now 
I've got a pretty centered A. I'm going to call that A in tune. Um, you're going to go through on all of your strings and make sure that it not only reads the correct string name at the top, but also so that that um, note, that needle is centered. Now, sometimes our violins are more out of tune than our tuning pegs might suffice. Um, and sometimes they're so out of tune that it's not the correct note. For instance, if I take my D string, I now have C sharp. I don't just have C, but there's also a little sharp symbol next to it. Um, I know that my violin string is supposed to say D, and I know that D comes after C in the alphabet, so I know that I need to bring the pitch up, and because C comes after D. So again, when I'm bringing the pitch up, when I'm flat, I'm going to need to turn my tuning peg in the clockwise direction. Closer, but I need to keep going until my needle is perfectly centered. And you'll see that if you're extremely close that that green dot is lighting up, but when I'm not close it becomes a red dot. So that red dot's lit up to show me that I'm flat, to sort of help if my ears aren't telling me enough. Um, so, if we are too far away from our pitch, sometimes our fine tuning gears won't be enough, our fine tuners um, won't be able to move the note enough. And when that happens, it becomes a little bit more complicated. Um, typically, I would say to reach out to your teacher for assistance, but I'm going to kind of lead you through an emergency situation today as well. Um, so let's say that I um, did something terrible like dropped my violin. Um, it does happen sometimes. If I dropped my violin, there's a possibility that my tuning peg might get knocked loose. And now I have a note that sounds nothing like my D string is supposed to sound. So in fact, if I look at my tuner app and I pluck my D string, I'm getting an A. I know that the note's supposed to be a lot higher because my string got really loose. So I'm going to have to do things a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to plant my violin firmly in my lap, facing me, so the strings are facing me. I'm going to place one hand on the side of my violin so that it's safe. And then I'm going to, while watching my tuning app, make sure that I don't go past the pitch. So that's very, very important um, because if you tune your violin too far um, in the upwards direction, in the sharp direction, then our string could snap. Um, and in fact, I'm not using my A string for this activity on purpose because I am due for a new A string and I would like to not break my A string today. Um, so when we're holding this firmly in our lap, we're going to trace that string. This is my D string. I'm going to trace this up and find that it is attached to this tuning peg. And I'm going to place my hand on that tuning peg. I'm also going to very slowly complete this. Um, I know that I'm looking for my D pitch. Um, which I know is around there. You could also play it on a piano. Um, in this app, you can press the sound. But 
it doesn't change the note for you, unfortunately. Um, you can tune your A that way, but you won't be able to tune your other strings in that manner. It's one of the downfalls of the free version. Um, but I can find a D. And I'm going to very slowly, after I've plucked, turn that peg up towards the ceiling, away from my face, um, until I approach that pitch. I'm going to give you the view from over here. I'll do it twice. The first time I'm going to let you watch here. The second time I'm going to let you watch what I'm doing over on this end. So now I'm close to D and then I would finish tuning just like I did before with my fine tuners. I went a little bit above. I don't like to do that, um, but you want to just be very careful not to go too far above the, the note that you're looking for. This time I'm going to untune my D string again. I dropped my violin again. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to look at the app, but you are going to look at what I'm doing. So again, my violin's firmly in my lap. I have a hand here for support just to make sure that I do not drop my violin. It does not slip. Um, we want to take care of our violins. And I'm going to pluck the string first. I found what string I'm plucking. I found the tuning peg attached to the string that needs help. And I'm going to pluck. I have an F sharp. I have a long distance to travel. But I'm going to go extremely slowly. did go a little high, I brought it back down, um, and I'm still not there yet, I then would have to finish up with my bow and my fine tuners. If you find that your fine tuners are all the way in and you still haven't reached the pitch, you're going to need to loosen them by going counterclockwise, and then you're going to have to do what I just did with the tuning pegs to bring it a little bit closer um, so that you can then tune with your fine tuners. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to them. I hope you have a great day and remember, never stop creating.